Professor Daniel Brinton was uh, professor of anthropology at the University of Pennsylvania, right there in Philadelphia. Brinton hung out with Keeley in his lab, apparently quite often. And not being a physicist, he was had a perfect mindset to uh, grasp what Keeley was saying because the established, accepted physics of that day did not admit to a divisible atom. It was the atom was indivisible, and here was Keeley dividing the atom up, breaking the atom apart, and releasing the energy held in the atom. And that was unheard of. It was anathema to anything any physicist knew about in those days. <clears throat> so Brinton had the mind, and apparently he had the curiosity to, to uh, ask Keeley what he was doing. And, and apparently over a period of time, Brinton got a handle on what Keeley was doing. And he wrote this little abstract, which he called The Laws of Being. And uh, Bloomfield Moore picked up on that. And she included that Laws of Being in the back as an appendices in the back of her book, Keeley's uh, Discovery, Keeley and His Discoveries. And um, in that abstract is where he was talking about the 369 and, and their relationships and how they apply to physics. And of course it caught my attention, but it was, it was so difficult to understand what he was saying, even though he was using better terminology than Keeley was. And um, when the 369 took off on Facebook, you know, I got curious where, where it was coming from, and lo and behold, it was coming out of Brenton's ex abstract. And um, when you go back into the Keeley literature, well, here's 3, 6, and 9, mostly applied to his, uh, his uh, conductor for sympathy that he used in his various machines. And we found a document that Keeley had written in his own hand, longhand writing, a letter written to Professor Brenton saying that he had absolutely understood perfectly what Keeley was doing and this big old signature on this letter. So what, what Brenton wrote is what we need to be studying. And my latest book, The Keeley's Laws of Being, is the best I could do at the time explaining what Brenton was talking about in his abstract.